Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. So um first off, let's look at the market. So Bitcoin is over thirty thousand five hundred. Um let me quickly confirm this thirty thousand five hundred. Yep, thirty thousand thirty thousand five hundred. Ethereum is way over a thousand eight hundred. Now there, there was a good news today. I'm gonna to share uh, a video about that. Ethereum has been trying to move to proof of stake and um, you know Ethereum was previously using proof of work because there's a trend in this space where people usually follow what is trending, right? They don't they don't follow what what uh, the future needs, they follow what the present needs and thereby making the present money and losing out in the future now ethereum was one of those projects that followed the trend now the trend in those days in the early days of crypto was every crypto uh, or every blockchain um uh, invention wanted to function and look like bitcoin right so all, all the blockchain protocol then were using proof of work right and then uh someone uh someone by by the name uh, dan larima who is not too famous in the crypto space as a matter of fact most times if you call dan larima in the crypto space people want to block you and call you a scam but it's actually one of the most smartest people in the world uh, invented and started using what we call dpos so dpos is the advanced form of pos right uh, delegated proof of stake for dpos and pos is just proof of stake right so a um, few years later uh, ethereum developers realized that hey we wanted to be like bitcoin but unfortunately the technology behind bitcoin has a lot of flaws and will not be suitable for what ethereum wants to do in the future so ethereum decided to ethereum when i say ethereum um, um, referring to the guys behind ethereum they decided to move over to proof of stake which is something they should have done a long time ago because Dan Larima actually told them a long time ago that hey, proof of stake is, is not going to be ideal for what Ethereum wanted to do but obviously they didn't listen and I've done several articles and videos about this particular topic please do make sure you check it out in my other videos right so uh there was, there was an update yesterday uh, how that the the final merge one of the one of the important merge or update that that that, that was needed or that is needed for the new ethereum 2.0 to be launched has been completed that is big news guys and that's that makes me feel that ethereum is going to get to up to three thousand four thousand dollars per coin anytime soon because the issues that a lot of developers are having with ethereum right now is that ethereum cannot scale you cannot make transactions with ethereum without paying high fees and that makes people to go to other alternatives like like eos solana and the rest right so ethereum has a, has more advantage uh, more advantage over um these other altcoins um ethereum, ethereum has been there for years has gotten a huge market dominance and gotten a name for itself so what is what ethereum is just lacking right now is just the right technology to move and that is why proof of stake is going to be extremely big for for ethereum now i'm making a prediction that ethereum when ethereum moves over to proof of stake right when ethereum moves over to proof of stake there will be a huge tendency that ethereum will become number one on coin market cap anyways i might be wrong but if if that doesn't happen uh no 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 hard feelings but i i see a lot of reasons why it should happen so moving on um BNB under scrutiny, SEC investigates tokens ICO. Um, there's this trend that SEC has been, XCC has been doing over the years where you do an ICO and they will come after you several years time. So how do you penalize someone for, for what the person did several years ago when there was no law? It's kind of crazy, but of course, that's what the SEC can do. Unstoppable domains agrees to give all women in Abu Dhabi free crypto domains. That is that is really smart and one way to bring massive adoption to uh, the crypto space. So unstoppable domain is a decentralized um, domain, right, on the Ethereum blockchain. I hope it's still on Ethereum blockchain. Last time I checked, it was there. Anchor Dev claims he won Duquan over unsustainable twenty percent interest. Um, 
to be honest, the interest rate was not the reason why Ethereum failed. Uh, that's it. Um, why the reason why Luna failed? I've done a, a video about that. Um, yeah, this is the video. This would have prevented Luna crash, right? So uh, I've done a video about about that. And now this might be one of the reasons, but I don't think that is that is the main reason why it crashed. Moving on. Despite uh, bearish trend, hedge funds are dipping their toes. Um, at those they are toes into crypto. Well. Just in case you're out there, you know, and, and you're you're new to crypto and investing in in online money, or online uh, digital cash like this or digital assets, this is the best time to buy. Whether you lost money before or you made money, this is the best time to buy. So let's say you invested a thousand dollars when the market was still okay, and your your thousand your 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 one thousand dollars is now worth two hundred two hundred dollars. This is the best time to buy. Take the two hundred dollars and put it back into markets, right? But of course, you need you need to know where to put it so your money don't end up going out to zero like you did with Luna. So we have a Telegram group uh, for that, just in case you want to know which crypto assets to buy. This is the best time to buy that, and and the smart companies around there are buying around this time. Moving on, IMF recommends eco friendly CBDCs and non. Paul, Paul, Paul is the technology that it, uh, Bitcoin uses, in, which is a, which is one of the biggest issues with Bitcoin, right? non poll mechanism for payments. Now, CBDC is a is a new is a no no for me. I've done a lot of video about that. So I don't need to repeat. It try as much as you can to stay away from CBDC. And uh, uh, just in case you're not aware, it's it's been proven that poll is not the future. Proof of work is not the future, and that's what Bitcoin uses. All right, so in summary, this is just IMF trying to, uh, you know, give more reasons why you should use CBDC. Try as much as you can to stay away from CBDC. All right, so I was talking about an Ethereum update. This is it here. Ethereum's Robsten proof of stake test merge goes live, right? So this is one of the, the upgrades that need to happen for Ethereum to move away from proof of work to proof of stake. Like I said earlier, the Ethereum started with proof of work, which was a trend back then. And uh, proof of work is not sustainable for what Ethereum wants to achieve. Hence, they have to move away from proof of work. All right. So this is the last news for today. So this analytic came out uh, for Binance, and it appears that Binance as um, is way bigger than Ethereum right now when it comes to number of transactions. So I'll just uh, uh, spell out some key metrics here. Um, Ethereum, uh, Binance actually made over three billion dollars. Uh, a worth of transaction which is remarkable and this is a chart right here that I want to talk about compare transactions on BNB chain versus Ethereum from May 20 2022 till now BNB chain has created a huge gap in transactions when Ethereum just recorded 1 million um, transactions while that of BNB is 4.2 million transaction the gap is extremely huge right so now um with the way things are going, um, if Ethereum doesn't move faster, Binance might might end up uh, replacing Ethereum um, in its position. So it, Binance right now is is at fifth number five position, while Ethereum is at number two uh, position. So uh, this one, this guy has uh, Binance has forty seven billion dollars market cap, while Ethereum is two hundred and nineteen billion dollars, which is about um, four four five times. The market cap of so uh, of um of bnb so bnb still has a lot of work to do but so far BNB, bnb is holding on strong and is doing extremely well all right um please let me know if you learned anything from this video if you enjoyed the video please give me a, a thumbs up like the video and of course subscribe to the channel if you learned something educative thank you see ya